This number is irrational Euler proved it, so there is no debate Euler's number is irrational And it's about 2.718 Leonhard Euler was the first one to prove it And he used the simple continued fraction expansion to do it But we will do it now in another way Following a proof which was first introduced by Fourier And the series 1 over n factorial will be our starting point as the definition of E Where n starts at 0 and goes to infinity And now let us see what happens if there would be an integer p and a natural q such that e equals p over q. Okay, and since we've had all natural numbers in our series and just a few, we must at some point find our q. Let's subtract everything up to this point and if you do now multiply by the factorial of q, then right at the start you might already see q factorial over q must always be an integer since you can cancel out q. And cancelling out is what we are gonna do with the rest of these fractions because we can see the whole denominator will now always be contained inside the numerator so we can say this cancels out and leaves an integer okay and we can now conclude for the left hand side it must always be an integer all right Euler's number is irrational Euler proved it so there is no debate Euler's number is irrational and it's about 2.718 And if we now take a look at the right hand side we will again see factorials which we have to divide only this time the numerator factorial of q is contained in the denominator which leaves you with 1 over a product and there you can see this product just gets longer and longer and if we observe every single factor is bigger than q so every single factor must be at least 2 then we know if every time we only write 2 the denominators will have to get smaller so you know the whole fraction has to be bigger right now but for this series I'm just gonna show you how you can visually see what this has to be just take a half and a quarter and an eighth and see how it gets closer and closer to one so you know this series converges to one but didn't we show that our right hand side must be smaller which is tough because we stay greater than zero if we add positive stuff but there clearly is no integer between zero and one so this is the point at which we have one because this contradiction right here shows you why no matter which p and which q you would try it can never work and therefore we see e can be rational qed Euler's number is irrational Euler proved it so there is no debate Euler's number is irrational And it's about 2.718 Approximately